Hi everyone, I hope you are ready for another episode of my wine diaries. I know I'm excited about it. I've got a nice little dinner plan to share with my wine and to share with you, so I hope that you stick around and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and I am so excited to have you guys join me again. This is going to be another episode of Nancy's Wine Diaries and it's going to be another one from my first box that came from Wink, W-I-N-C. Uh, it's a wine club, um, like a subscription. And I got four bottles of wine for $29.95, I believe. I'm going to leave the first video that I did up there. That kind of explains a little bit more how this uh, club works. And if people use my link, I'll have that in the description below. I get a free bottle the first time that you order. I would get to get a free bottle. And when you go back and do a second order, if you like it enough to do that, I get a second bottle of wine for free. So, can't free wine. You can't help can't beat that right so anyway um i've already had two of the bottles of wine i've had the chami essence salt from south africa that was really really good um towards the end of the bottle it kind of had a, like a tomatoey type flavor so um the beginning of the bottle i think is it just by the end of the week it just kind of maybe was just kind of losing some of the uh, flavor the essence or whatever the second bottle of wine oh my gosh i loved it so much it was from um Argentine. Oh, it was from Ch Chile. It was a Caminere, and oh my gosh, I love that. That was so good, so flavorful. Um, I would love to try another one. And the one that I opened today, I've got a Cabernet Sauvignon left, and I've got a white blend. And so since I've had two of their red ones, I thought I would try the white one that they sent in my first pick here. So it's a uh, Latalia du Sud. I'm, I'm sure I butchered this. This is a white blend. It's got a Vianne in it, um, a Grenache Blanc, and a Clarite or a Clarit wine in here. So I'm excited to give this a try. It said that it goes great with pizza, Thai food, fish, chicken. Um, it's supposed to be a light bodied wine, about 13% alcohol. I didn't have, well, I've got frozen pizza. But I made lo mein to go with it because that was as close as I could get to Thai food. So I thought this would really go good with it. It's got shrimp in here. I put in some, because I, I love onions for some reason. So I put in some extra onions. I cut up some garlic and threw that in there and some peppers. And it uh, came from this, these ones that you can get at the grocery store from P.F. Chang's. It's a... Um, like a chain restaurant. I don't know if they're in your area, but they're around here. So usually these go like for $8.99, $7.99 and, and, um, and the, the cup foods that I go to. But they were running a special a few weeks ago. So they had like bags of this, like three of them for $10, $10 or three for $9.99. So I picked up a couple. So I thought it would go perfect with the wine tonight. And again, this is a white wine blend. And I love my pasta bowls. So yes, yeah, so I got my wine and pasta bowls here. This is so good for having pasta or soup. And my wine glass. And again, I don't really know how to pronounce it. La Talia de Sud, but it's a white wine blend. It's supposed to be on the dry side. And I've never had the Vigene or a Grenache Blanc or a Clarité, however you say it. So I'm looking forward to trying this. It's a nice, kind of like a golden hue. It does coat the glass, but I don't see the runners. Alrighty, so let's kind of give this a swirl. See what it's what I can smell in here. Not really sure what to expect. It smells. It does smell sweet though. So I think I smell lemon, maybe pineapple, I'm not sure, and honey. So looking forward to doing this. So 
cheers everybody it's friday night and i just did um the countdown to valentine's day with some wine and i ended up just having a few sips and i put it back in the bottle that's got a screw cap so i'm pretty sure that should keep nice and fresh because i knew i wanted to try this because it's pretty soon it's going to be my february box it's shipping and i haven't finished off four bottles yet plus i bought some malbec i've heard some really good things about malbec yeah i, I know i talk a lot so um i bought i didn't i was looking for a specific brand that was a reference but i couldn't find it in one of my local stores there's a store about 30 minutes from here that delivers yeah they deliver for five dollars i mean it's probably going to cost me more than five dollars worth of gas to get there and back right so i got three malbecs yeah so they were all rated five stars one was five dollars one was like 4.99 um, the next one was $9.99 and then the next one was like $21.99 and I wanted to see if I could tell a difference. They were all rated five stars by the people that buy them. So I thought that would be kind of fun to do, but doing the countdown to, you know, the Valentine's Day and then having three open bottles, I thought that was a little too much. So I'm going to have to save that for another day or right another month. But I'm looking forward to trying those. Alrighty, cheers. So it's, I, I don't understand it, it's dry, but it's a soft dry. It's like when you taste it, your palate, you can feel that dryness from the tannins, but it goes away so quickly. It's got a nice lemon zest type, type taste to it, but it's not like overpowering. Um, it's like a sweet, like a lemon drop or something. It's, it's a lemon, but it's sweet. And that might be because of the, uh, the honey. But yeah, it smells really, really nice. It smells fresh, kind of like a floral, like a flower scent or something, maybe like a orange blossom or something like that. Not so much the orange flavor, but like the scent of an orange blossom or something like that, like a flower type scent, something floral. Yeah, I don't know how to describe these things. I'm sorry. I wish I was better. It's not high in acidity. It's just a little light. I mean, my, it's not like my mouth is watering, like going crazy, but you can taste that sweetness and the tartness of the lemon, but it's like a sweet tart. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it. I'm sorry, but it's really like a nice wine. I think this would be uh, good for a sipping wine, whether it's winter or summer, spring or fall. And I think it's gonna go really great with my Lumine. So I wanna thank you guys so much for stopping in spending a little bit of your time with me it means more to me that I can let you go not let you go but let you know and yes yeah, so if you have any recommendations for me on some different wines to try I mean I've got another the Cabernet Sauvignon I believe from this one and then pretty soon it's going to be time um, for the next uh, wine subscription to come in so I'll be getting four bottles I don't know what I'm getting yet but I'll do all of those together and then kind of put one video at the end so I'll be doing like just little sporadic things throughout the month or something like that when I can but anyway thanks so much for stopping in um, your support is amazing and it means the world to me and I am so blessed I'm so honored and lucky to have you guys in my life so I hope you guys go out have a great weekend and yeah I hope to chat with you guys again soon bye bye everyone love you guys